video to the, of today, I've got the HP, um, well, I'm not going to open it up because I'm going to show you around it, 550 laptop computer, and it's, I've got the mouse plugged in again because the trackpad and this isn't one. It does have a functioning battery, but the battery needs to be charged up because, yeah, the Wi-Fi um, is a bit, well, it doesn't work on the new star router, can't get it to connect. So let's look at the bottom first. Here is my replacement battery, cheapy no name brand because I couldn't get a H find a HP one. Um, yes, there's a random little ID number tag there. Did have Vista, but the COA got a bit destroyed. Uh, that, that is the RAM compartment, that's the hardware compartment. Uh, it's got uh, 160 in here, that's the, the Bulan. And uh, if you can read it, I don't think you can. I'll show you the cheap battery if I can get it out, it's a bit awkward. There we are, I've got the battery out. Be hard with this brand. It's a brand. It's a brand I've never heard of before. But never mind. It just me to do it. I haven't calibrated it, and I've had the battery for almost a year now. So I got it back in January. So eleven months. Oh yes, it actually lit up when I put the battery back in. But anyway, let's look at the sides of this computer. There's nothing on the back, so there's no need to show you that. Um. <sighs> We have a dial-up modem there, if you can see that, now you can, there it is. Uh, VGA, you can see the Ethernet here because it's not um, like a black, there's the power jack. And three USB ports on the front, as well as a bit of gunge there. We have two, but we have a microphone and a headphone and if you, an SD card reader. Put it down again. Right. This side we just turned nothing there. A well, if you can see the logo, you'll know what it is. Now you can. Light scribe DVD RW. Uh, so yeah, and the Kenyans and lock on the back. It's just the battery and hinges, so you don't need to see that. And yes, there's my Lenovo. This is a piece of crap. Let's open it up and look at the insides of this computer. So we have well. If you can see it, I don't know if you can or not, I'll put it up with the light. Try to anyway. Try and zoom out. So it's over there. HP, you can't get it because of the shadow, but it says HP 550. It does not have a solar on it, it has a Core 2 Duo processor. You know, the keyboard well, it came a bit lopsided, so I had to pull this key off because it kept jamming down. Um, I pulled that off my Dell, which the uh, latitude, which is down there, along with the dead drive um, from the Lenovo, which was replaced, and which is why there's no drive in the uh, Dell uh, Inspiron. That's going to get anyone any well. It's not. That's going to have that one back, and I'm going to get anyone in there at some point. We have a trackpad here. Uh, doesn't the two buttons do not work? And the actual pad does though. Wi-Fi switch and the HP logo and a uh, very messy view screen. I don't know what the virus button is here. Um, F10. Oh shit! There we are. Back on right. because we're running out of battery. I need to find where I put the charger. Um, I'll set up loads. It does take a while sometimes. I'm going to put this mouse in because the mouse doesn't work. Here's the charger. Um, just checking the time. It is taking a while. I don't know why it's taking that long. It shouldn't be. It doesn't go on. Where it takes as long as doing something with the Intel Puxy bit. Or PXE boot. Oh, here we go. So let's take a look at system information. Uh, it's a Hewlett Packard HP 550 Intel Core 2 Duo T7500 at 2.2 GHz. Um, Um, L2 cache, 4 megabytes, 2 gigabytes of memory. The original BIOS, I know the second BIOS, which is from 2008. Um, well, I don't know, keyboard controller. Oh god, that does not sound good. Please don't say my early light scroll drivers died. <laughs> 
Oh. Well, I'll tell you what happens in that was. So this drive here, out of the Lenovo, that was replaced with the one out of that Dell I showed you in that other video. Well, this was destroying discs. The disc that was in this drive was one of the ones that that drive destroyed. This Windows 10 technical preview disc. And that was a waste of an 8.5 gigabytes dual uh, DVD plus R. Yeah. I'm not going to keep that in there because it, just, it might as well go in the bin that might because it doesn't, it's useless. Is that anymore? No status to display? Right, security. There is none. Uh, come on out. Got those system ideas, but. Disk sanitizer. HDD diagnose locks this. That actually helped me find out what was wrong with the memory in that Dell because it was. I put it in here and it messed up. Device configurations, built in device options, support options. Flash me. Oh, I didn't realize you could do that. Why would you want to disable the port? But never mind. I think we'll now uh, ignore changes and exit. Now, I don't know which account. I've got more than one account myself on here. This is running Windows XP. It did come with Vista, but I installed XP on it. Yes, I know the screen on this one's a complete piece of mess. It should recognize the mouse this time, though, because I've used this computer with this mouse before. Okay. The screen isn't, bit, well, it isn't helping me with the Windows XP boot up. Okay, right, this camera does get hot when I record for a certain amount of time, and it is getting hot now, I can feel it. Anyway, Windows is starting, let me put this here, I just need to check which account I need. Because I've got... Oh, is that the one? Just wait a minute. Um, support for your operating system, blah 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 blah. Um, I need to just check something. Give it a minute while it loads up. There was some sh uh, shit running on this computer, so that was just easier. But uh, I actually put um, a program called Netsport on here. And that lets me see what she's doing. And that trains games on there because of my dad, but never mind. Opera browser because of course that's here. Windows Media Player 9 because I like that uh, media player. Please don't die now, keyboard. <laughs> The reason that Dell didn't have a keyboard was because I pulled half the keys off because it got too gunged up and I should put them back on and didn't work. Finish. I haven't used this computer for oh, about a month. Well, well, I have. I've turned it on just to try that disc in it. And that was it. Because uh, that disc was done about two or oh, two, three weeks ago now. Yeah, it was October because that's when my new successfully installed the Speed Browser Classic. Here, yeah, I have, uh, yeah, Netsport School, that is what I, uh, I had a video on that earlier this year, GDK. DOSBox, it doesn't work because I, I messed up the drivers for Windows 3.1, mm -hmm. yeah. Not the best thing to do, uh, Cyberlink DVD. Uh, HP DeskJet 1050. Uh, that printer is completely useless. It's not going to retrieve any information because it ain't plugged in, but it keeps getting jammed up, so it's not going to be used. Yet. Just look at the properties of this one. Again, we can all look at the BIOS uh, system information. Uh, here comes NetSport School. <laughs> Oops, not well. I'm not telling you how I got that program, but never mind. Uh, come on. The, the hard driving, this isn't the best. 2.2, but it's running at 2.19, of course, at the moment. But I don't know if speed step is enabled or is available, but it should be. And I think running, of course, in the Windows Task Manager, this is running Professional Service for 3. Uh, that's the serial key if you want to know that. PAE. Okay, I've reinstalled. I did have a different copy of XP on here in the past, but I've reinstalled it a couple of times since then. Let's try out the speakers. This time we'll use the Windows XP animated tool, and then we'll use the title. Welcome to Not Windows very good. XP from Microsoft. 
The speakers did actually run better on this turn. That's the only thing, the bad thing about installing XP on this thing. Um, I know quite a few people that may have used one of these computers with XP on it. And they were terribly slow because they had the seller on. Um, they were hooked up to a domain and they had a lot of uh, school crap installed on them. Um, and they'll be even slower now because they've installed Google Chrome on the... Um, they don't have any more, but... They've installed Google Chrome on all the school computers, which means they are completely slow now. They should have just kept IE, and yet they still haven't updated IE because they want all the students to use Google Chrome, which I will refuse to do. They, they, they've kept IE9, and they refuse to upgrade. Well, they don't, don't refuse, I haven't asked them, but they don't upgrade it because they're trying to get every student to be using Google Chrome, and I will refuse to do that however much they ask me to do it. And they can't um, tell me off over that because that's my choice over what browser I use, and they can't remove IE from Windows, and they don't have any Windows XP computers anymore, or they probably do, but not many, because they still run Windows 2000 in the IT technician's room, but, yeah, and they run Windows 7 now, Windows 7 Professional, of course, and a bunch of crappy Celeron CPUs, mm, and computers designed for Vista and XP, not the best thing, and also a bunch of crappy Zoo Storm computers, recycle bin! As you can see, the Wi-Fi does not work. Well, it says it works. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Let's just try it. Just mute the sound a minute. I don't want anything. I can't remember what last I did on the browser. I don't want any YouTube videos loading up. It's still running on battery. Yeah, you can see it's not um, configured the battery because I zoomed in like an idiot. Okay, we have no issues there, but the battery, as you can see, it's got full, but, um, 76%, and it says 1 out of 36, but just a minute ago it said 54 minutes, because it's not calibrated. Opera is now a complete piece of crap, because they don't let you, um, well, I don't know about this version, but, uh, this version will let me have, um, Bing, I believe it's actually said, no, it's not, they've reset it to Google. I'm hoping they haven't actually, um, got rid of being on this version as well because that means I won't be using it because I refuse to use Google because the only Google service I use it yet yeah. I haven't logged in onto this account that's why being still here in version 25 being 26 out of 27 it is gone and I won't be bringing it back which means I won't be using Opera on my old computers that run IE, Windows XP and use IEX because I can't use Bing and I will not use Google and I will not use DuckDuckGo which is replaced, which is what replaced Bing on this uh, list right here so this video is almost as long as the Dell one so I think I might as well stop now so I can actually do some stuff and watch a bit of YouTube videos so I think it's time to shut this computer down and Next time, an install opera. I will be making a video on that devil attitude. I found out why it hadn't come. It should have come this week. But the company decided that not to dispatch it. I believe it was probably a mistake, but it doesn't really matter. I felt I was supposed to get a forwarded email. So let me just check that. And I'll read it to you if I've got the email. No, no, no. no I've just got an email off um, Gabe All from the Windows Insider program. And um, look. An advert from the dreaded Acer company. I will not use Acer, just like I will not buy another Lenovo, if you can see that there. That's decided to start peeling off now, so that was annoying. I'll have to tape that on because I don't want to pull it off because it's got loads of ugh, stuff underneath it. I suppose that XP sticker there isn't in very good condition. That's, um, as you can see, all the writing's coming off it and it's taped down because I pulled it off that. I'll show you. You can even see where it was. On this poor, unused, and broken down because some idiot who sold it to me decided to over tighten the hinges. And therefore, when you put any pressure on the hinge, it's one side snapped, leaving the other side messed up, which meant that after about a year, the screen hinges snapped. Yes, I decided to write all over it track points left, right, win XP. Now, but as you can see, there we have the Pentium M logo. I did actually at one point write Pentium 4 on it. And just below that, it says actually 1.8 gigahertz now. You can just about see next to the Pentium logo there, 
some sticky residue. That is the that is where that Windows XP sticker was, and this computer is in a complete mess, and I'll show you why. I do have no I have no idea where the top part is, the power cover, the keyboard is not screwed in, the, the clock battery fell apart, I took the modem out, the Wi-Fi card, but I can't the, well, the Wi-Fi card's completely useless because it's got no screen on it, which is where the antennas are located. That's a bit worn there. The fan's okay then. It's not that dusty. And track point looks a complete mess. If you can zoom, if you can see that, there you go. And the track pad is called Gunk Tuff and it came like that. I don't mind the small size. The HP small, that's enormous, but yeah, this thing this th the reason I bought this HP last year was to replace this. Um, as you can see, it's a latitude there. I think I've got some stuff under here that I really don't want to show you. No, I didn't put it there. Oh, yes, I did. I wrote it in, in Sharpie Pen. This one is 002. Even that one, I hate this 003 because I've got this first. That's 001, even though I had that there, I told you about earlier. Now, as you can see, that's not there, so I've cut it in tape and made my own vents. On the back, I've written on it. Uh, modem that, that was covered up by covered it up ethernet and so on but that's from the video i did have some videos on that but they were very low quality and this is all the computer that i installed windows 2000 on so anyway i need to go now because i want to take ages to upload this video due to the fact i'm using a hd camera i'm really just peed off now because i just showed you my email address never mind at least i think i did but yeah I'm getting another Dell iTunes, but I don't think it's got track point on it, so I have to buy another one after Christmas. So yeah, let's shut this PC down. And then you can carry on and watch some more YouTube videos. Alright, unplug this mouse. Uh move this mouse. Yes, my bed is full of computers. And that keyboard I was using on the Dell videos. Um, goodbye, HP and Dell videos today.